the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, we are jumping into the SEC West here, and last year, 13-2, and two, uh, should have been a rebuilding year, but alas, uh, found a way to get to the national championship game again. I, I don't know exactly how they continue to do this, but uh, it is what it is. Really well-coached team. You guys saw it for yourself last year. You see a lot of green on that screen as far as the analytical numbers. Uh, rushing success was number 22, even though they didn't have much of an offensive line to rush behind, and they lost the majority of their running backs early in the season. Uh, they were down to two when you got to the national championship game. So PPA margin was number four, uh, rushing success number 22, passing success number 30. Uh, defensive PPA per drive was very much improved in Pete Golding's third season, so uh, up to number five at that point, rushing success rate number 11. Secondary was kind of questionable, uh, number 47 in passing success rate allowed. Uh, let's start off with the offense here. Bill O'Brien enters his second year. They do have a new offensive line coach, Eric Wolford from Kentucky. They've got a lot of experience back, although they do lose Evan Neal, and that's going to be a huge loss at the tackle spot. Now, they have recruited well at that spot. J.C. Latham, uh, Brockermeyer, etc. Those guys haven't exactly come on yet, but all indications out of training camp seem that they're going to be fine. So we'll see. Heisman Trophy quarterback Bryce Young is back again. Full year of experience under his belt, so that certainly is good. Uh, of the 60 players that had 30-plus receptions, only the tight end Cameron Latu returns. Now, they do have a bunch of uh, transfer wide receivers coming in, etc., so that, that could help. Jameer Gibbs comes in, running back from Georgia Tech, so he's going to help. Uh, he'll take over for Brian Robinson, and he does things a lot differently than what Robinson did last year. So he's a speedy guy, very fast, etc. I think you're going to see big things out of him. Uh, the wide receivers, Burton and Harrell, uh, from Georgia and Louisville, respectively, they transfer in. Uh, you got another year with the wide receivers, Brooks, Earl, Holden, etc. You got a slew of running backs coming back. Uh, offense should not be an issue this year. Should not be an issue, but we shall see. Uh, along with that, let's talk about the defense. Uh, Pete Golding got 12 players back this year that had 300 plus snaps. You got six of them that are defensive backs. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, we'll talk about the secondary here in just a minute. They were number 74 in points per scoring opportunity. So anytime somebody got within the 40-yard line, uh, defense was not able to get stops as well. Uh, they they were able to stop people from getting within the 40 uh, pretty often. But once they got down there, they were able to score at a pretty high rate. Uh, Will Anderson Jr. and Dallas Turner are back. Uh, best pass rushing duo in the country Henry Toa Toa is back to lead the linebacker core. There's not a lot of experience at linebacker. That hasn't necessarily mattered in the past, but obviously we will see. Defensive line brings back four players with 282-plus snaps. A lot of upperclassmen. They were great against the run last year, number seven in stuff rate, number three in rushing PPA. The question here is, can the defensive backs improve the number 47 passing success rate when you lose your top two cornerbacks? Now, obviously, you're bringing in Eli Ricks. You're bringing in, um, or not bringing in, but you've got Kool-Aid McKinstry going into his second season. Obviously, there's talent, but we will see exactly what it looks like. Uh, this team projected to be a favorite in all 12 games. Um, only one is projected to be a one-score game, and that's a game that is within eight points. Uh, this team looks dominant. They are completely loaded. Uh, as far as the blue chip ratio, 90% of their players are either four or five stars. Uh, let's talk about keys to the season. Uh, well, the win total here, 10.5. It's juiced to the over at minus 250. Uh, to win the conference, minus 135. That's kind of ridiculous. Division odds, minus 425. Like, this is, uh, it almost seems like a no-brainer, but you never know with these things, right? Keys to the season. Can the offensive line coaching change provide more consistency in protection for Bryce Young? And how does Young gel with a new skill talent? Because you got new skill guys everywhere. Um, along with that, I mean, you, you've got the running backs. Can they stay healthy this year? Uh, McClellan uh, went out with an injury last year and just all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Rodell Williams went out with an injury. You got to get those guys to stay healthy. Gibbs is here. Trey Sanders missed a lot of time in the past. Um, you know, both McClellan and Williams played just over 100 snaps last year. They were expected to be a big part of that offense, and you had to lean on Brian Robinson towards the end of the season. What can you expect from the secondary? They were number 50 in 20-plus yard passes allowed. They allowed 39. And then, of course, as I mentioned, they lost their top two cornerbacks. So there are questions here. 
It's not like this team is loaded everywhere. There's there's questions to go along with it. Outside of the questions, I've still got Alabama going 12-0. I expect them to win the conference. I expect them to head to the playoff, be the number one seed, etc. cetera. Uh, this team is loaded. I mean, they are just loaded uh, with a ton of talent, and you know what you're going to get from a Nick Saban coached football team. Bottom line. Bottom line. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.